But I was sitting down randomly thinking one day, guys, and I was like, A Yudin Chronicle, their spiritual successor to the Suikoden series, is coming out next year. But what are the qualities that A Yudin Chronicle 100 Heroes has to maintain, ace, or even do better than the original Suikoden series to be a true spiritual successor or just be a true monumental moment in JRPG gaming? So, that brought me to today's topic. I'm going to go over five points that I believe that the Eudin Chronicle 100 Heroes game must touch, ace, or do better than the original Suikoden series in order for this to be a successful spiritual successor. Now keep in mind, our reasons and points may vary just a little bit, but these five points are the staples of what I get from the Suikoden series. Be sure to let me know what you get from the Suikoden series. So we're going to go ahead and jump into each one point by point. Now, number one for me will be the story. The Suikoden games has just this amazing story about the runes and each game has a specific story to that game, but overall there's an overarching story across the games, especially with the first three and then the others tried to loosely connect, but I like how the series has an overarching storyline, but then it also has a storyline that is specific to each game. So a Yudin Chronicle has to have a story that manages to move us. It cannot be cookie cutter. It cannot be an anime-esque JRPG trophy by the book story. It actually has to be a heart pounding story, an emotional story, an investing story that actually manages to get us to care about what's going on. This is what I'm looking forward to the most in Eudin Chronicle because it is such a huge part of what make the Suikoden games so thrilling and so amazing. Perhaps maybe not the main thing I'm looking for, but it's one of the major components that I'm looking for. So I have high hopes for the story of Eudin Chronicle because it has a very high build to feel and I believe that it can do it from the tone that we've gathered from the trailer so far. It looks to have a story that's definitely going to be right up the alley that I'm looking for. But number one for me is story. Now number two will be the characters. Suikoden series is filled of just quacky, quirky, awesome, serious different there's so much diversity and uniqueness to all of the characters across the Suikoden universe now I am impressed by what I've seen so far I've seen skeletons I've seen kangaroos I've seen all kinds of characters in a Yudin Chronicle 100 Heroes and that makes me absolutely happy I love the character diversity I love the character uniqueness and this is one thing that I think already we can kind of tell that a Yudin is handling well however these characters Characters have interesting personalities I'm hoping they have interesting stories of their own and I'm hoping that they have great interaction between each other I don't want the characters to just be cardboard cutouts and to just be NPC placeholders I'm hoping the characters have that same feel and that same uniqueness as so many of the amazing characters that we have come to know and recruit over the years of playing Suikoden so characters I'm already a bit optimistic about but Eudin Chronicle is really going to have to do well with its recruitable characters as that is one of the main attractions of the Suikoden series and of this game coming into this new age of JRPG players. A lot of players are going to be kind of um, maybe they might be a little overwhelmed with the amount of characters that you can recruit. So this means that hopefully they each can leave a lasting impression instead of just being a box and a check to just cross off the list. So characters have to be ace as well now number three is a bit of a fun one this is the hq slash headquarters aspect of the suikoden games now a Yudin chronicle looks to keep this feature intact and even looks to add a little bit more to it by doing things like tending to crops opening up shops and watching it grow as you flourish more in your community and as you flourish more in your uh hq and headquarters now this is one thing that the Suikoden series is almost known for, the ability that your HQ grows the more characters you recruit and the more that you bring into this battle, the more your HQ will flourish and thrive. And a Yudin Chronicle already looks to do a great job on this. I'm just adding this point in here because I also don't want this aspect to be shallow. I'm hoping there's some extra features and I'm hoping it feels as cozy and as sometime militaristic as some of the other Suikoden games felt. 
Suikoden 2 does an amazing job of capturing a home base that's building, a place where everyone is doing their own thing. Sometimes some people are training, some people are sitting down having a tea break, some people are fishing. Everything in Suikoden 2, it just feels so natural with the team and the castle and everyone that you have. And I'm really hoping that Euden Chronicle can capture that same essence with its HQ. Uh, it has to nail this because this is one of the biggest components that you'll find yourself doing as you're playing this game and progressing through the story. So I am hoping that it is not a shallow experience and that it actually showcases the abilities of the developers to express these characters through their different activities and their different personalities. So HQ is a must. Now for number four is what one thing everybody who's a huge Suikoden fan should know about and that is the dual system. Every Suikoden game has this moment in time and moment in the story where you got to get busy. You got to get the good old classic one versus one, mano y mano. And Iyuden Chronicle looks to continue that same tradition from this cutscene and from these clips that we saw at Tokyo Game Show between Noah and Sane. So this is actually great look looking already for the future because it shows me that duels are in and duels look to be dynamic. It looks like you could be fighting at one place and the natural flow of the battle could lead you into a different environment depending on how intense and how crazy that this battle is getting. So I absolutely love this approach as this is the dynamics and the difference in the variety that I would want to see in the evolution of the duel system from the Suikoden games. Usually duels kind of took place in that place where they are and where it's happening but I really like this new creative touch to kind of change up the environment as you're dueling. So number four is duels and a Uden Chronicle already looks to innovate, not just match, but actually innovate the formula old system that has worked so well and so true all these years. So already we're on a great track when it comes to duels. And my fifth and final point that it has to ace is the war battle mechanic. Now we all know that the Suikoden games are infamous for its ability to add a strategy RPG like war battle to the main story. So it is a no brainer that a Yudin Chronicle 100 Heroes must absolutely ace this aspect of its gameplay, of its story, of its presentation because this has been such a huge staple in the Suikoden series for decades and it's one of the most profound aspects of the series that people still talk about and to this very day. So a Yudin Chronicle has a huge bill to fill when it comes to the war battles. I want to see how unique it can be. I want to see the strategy elements that it implement. I'm hoping that it as well is not shallow. All of these things I have been mentioning so far in this video, they have to avoid being shallow and just being there for the sake of being there and looking pretty. They need to either seek to innovate, change up, or do better than its predecessor. So there you have it guys. Those are my top five components that a Union Chronicle must have in order to match or be better than the Suikoden series. We need war battles, we need duels, we need the HQ, characters and a great story to me these five aspects were the most important things that i took from the suikoden series of course there's things like the gameplay and the six person battle system all of those things are also essential but i at least need these five things to hit and hit hard for me to really feel like i'm back at home when I'm back on a new adventure and going for a new day with the Euden chronicle series Thank you guys for watching my video. Hit that like button for me. I cannot wait until this game come out. Let me know as a Suikoden fan, are you super excited for 2024 at Union Chronicle? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for the support. God bless. See you on the next video.